Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so it's gotten cold outside there. It's just uh, end of January, beginning of February here and so a little too cool to do too many plein airs. So I like to paint on a fairly regular basis. So I'm looking at doing some still lifes through this next bit of winter here just to fill in the time a little bit more. I worked on photographs predominantly last winter and just really craving just painting from life now. So what I've been doing is just setting up some little six by eight little paper foil papers and uh, really just grabbing anything available around either the studio or the rest of the house and just coming up with some little little small still lifes that I can do in, in one evening. Uh, I really like uh, painting from life just because the, the shadows and that are, you can just see so much more detail in the shadows. And it's just, yeah, it's just really good to teach your eye how to um, transfer what you're seeing onto uh, canvas or paper to do it from life like that. Uh, and I'm hoping that this will make an improvement to my studio works when I when I'm doing some of the larger pictures uh, in, in in studio but anyways this is a, a little setup I came up with which is a little napkin and a tiny little dish with some berries blueberries raspberries and blackberries in it and uh, I always like it when I see um, a fruit detailed and I do tend to love putting in that little bit more detail when I do still lifes uh, and I don't mind it as long as I'm painting from life. Uh, I go a little quicker when I'm doing the plein airs outdoors. I try to keep those to kind of an hour, hour and a half. I think this one ran a little bit more than that. Uh, and I've sped it up in time just because it, I mean, it's, it's kind of a, a long process doing the still life. So I think a lot of it is a bit repetitive. So by speeding it up, you get the general idea of, uh, of the flow of the painting and where I start and, and where the detailing comes in. So yeah, enjoy the, the video. I'll be putting another one out um, uh, actually quite shortly because I've already done the painting and uh, just sort of filling in time when I can't get outside. Hoping to get out at least once a week to do the plein airs. Uh, generally try to do that on a day off so that I don't feel limited and, and pressed for time. But uh, when I can't, it's, it's nice to keep painting anyways. And it's quite a challenge to just come up with these little things from that I can paint without overthinking it. Try to keep the items to just one or two items. And, and that way it's not gonna become a, a two or three day event with, the, with these paintings, but trying to get mostly done in, in one evening to two two and a half hours sort of thing and if I look at it the next morning and it looks like it needs a little bit more that I'll I'll work on that I tend to love working with um, reflections and shadows and and uh, metal or uh, there's no metal in this picture actually but uh, I really really like working with with metals and glasses and, and anything reflectory like that so you'll see some of those in the next plein airs that I do but uh, not really trying to limit what I pick for subject matter but just something that that shows some good highlights and and is interesting enough to keep my attention but but they are fun once you get into doing these little still lifes. And I mean, I don't use them for any kind of resale or anything like that. These are purely for my own growth so that I can continue to paint even when I'm not going outside to do the, to do the plein airs. Um, yeah, so enjoy the video. Give me a little feedback if you like in the, in the comments section and uh, Maybe pop me some ideas of what you'd like to see me paint for a still life. Um, otherwise, just enjoy the, the video, there's a little bit of music, and and it's sped up to the point where hopefully it won't it won't bore anybody to death <laughs> until you get to the end. But thank you for watching.